Zumi's prayers enter the world of light. It is a command. And the angel of the Lord, which is Lord Jesus, was standing by and said, Let them place a pure diadem upon his head. Take off his filthy clothes. Remove his iniquity. I will clothe him with splendid robes. We answer to the angel of the Lord that stood among the myrtle trees, saying, We have walked to and fro through the earth, and behold, all the earth sits still and is at rest. Let us not suppose that we are living as they. Let them not suppose that they are living as we. The angel is sent from God to make us as we are. For it is not the life of earth, but is the life of heaven. We have entrance into the holy assembly and worship. This by communion of faith while we are here below. We do not know of them, but they know of us. All the saints above do give glory to you in a church state, which shall not be eternal, but has its time allotted unto it. We believers do at present have by faith that unseeing but believing thing, an admission into communion with this church above in all its divine worship. We are come to Mount Zion and, to, and unto the city of the living God, the heavenly Jerusalem, and to an innumerable company of angels, to the general assembly and church of the firstborn Jesus, whose names are writ in heaven. We have come to you, God, the judge and ruler of all, and to the spirits of the redeemed in heaven, who have men been made perfect. These are not assailed by temptation and by sin, as are we. In this condition we appear to the world to be living in the world, but are not. Thus are several stages of men. Firstly, the souls known to you before we are born, known also our bodies, our actions, our thoughts, our dreams. Secondly, are we procreated in the womb, body and soul, and unto us is breathed life. Then we live upon the earth. Within our life, it is at some time revealed to us our salvation, and we come to know you and believe you, as you have known us before the world was. In this condition we live the common life of earth, yet our spirit is already within yours and joined to the spirits of believers who are in heaven while their bodies are in the grave. At the end of time, those living will be taken body and soul into heaven, their bodies glorified. Those in the grave whose spirits already live with you unconsciously, their bodies will be glorified and raised to join the entire communion of the three persons of the one God, the myriads of unfallen angels, all to live together everlastingly in enjoyment, praise, and worship of you. We pass by on the road each day, they not seeing that those they suppose are of the common herd, have new life in the realm of the Holy Spirit. As we walk through life familiarly with them, our spirit is yet raised to the realm of all spirits within your Holy Spirit. The Lord we have seen is that spirit. For all eternity we will live with and within the Son of God, as he noticeably but glorified is that man who walked among us. You are of two natures, the preexistent Son of God and the only begotten Son of the Father. No one can explain the full and mysterious nature of these things. They are revealed to us by the Logos, the Word and Reason, the Son of God. We will come to know many more things in heaven, but never fully know your infinite being. Consider the walk to Emmaus and the 40 days spent by Jesus teaching your apostles before your ascension. This we may have now as much as we desire, for your knowability is placed before us. We will yet pass by these unsuspecting people who walk the earth, now silently praying for their salvation, loving them, and looking for opportunity to speak of you. Amen.